was a big deal. It was too new. Boston at the forefront of an engineering breakthrough. September 1897, the first time transportation would go underground in the United States. People were afraid to ride it. They associated it with disease because it was underground. There were fears of tuberculosis. The uh, clergy was worried about the fact that the dead were buried underground and somehow it was bad for regular riders to be underground. As a practical matter, there was a lot of fear. Bradley Clark with the Boston Street Railway Association says that fear was short-lived. After the first day, it was an instant hit. Daily ridership soon rose to more than 250,000 people. But like everything new, it eventually became old. In 1962, many of the original tunnels were abandoned to make way for what we now know as the MBTA. Lying far below the hustle and bustle of city life, the old tunnels now sit idly in the dark. Access is limited, but we were given an exception. More than 50 years of fascinating abandoned history right underneath our feet, the old subway, and we're about to get an inside look at what it's like. This is the North Brown tube of the first subway in America. What has happened to the tunnel since it's been abandoned? Almost nothing. It's just sat here. When you first step inside, despite an eerie silence, evidence that life still exists here, from those things that thrive in dark, damp spaces to those in search of shelter. There have been homeless people that have camped out down here and various other people, and uh, the tea has a, its hands full keeping people out, frankly. It is a world filled with interest and intrigue. Go further, the reasons as to why this is off limits come to light. There is a lot of debris. Clearly, if you're not supposed to be down here, if you're not escorted, it's not a safe place. Definitely not. Lots of places to trip, lots of cords and wires to fall over. Mm -hmm. uh, you could even get electrocuted. There have been a number of uh, people that have made the mistake of coming down here over the years. At best, they get arrested. At worst, they get injured. From impossible doorways, a tangled universe of wires and wear, to a thick wallpaper, a veil of black, a century in the making. A hundred years of dust. Kind of looks like my house right now. <laughs> <laughs> Covering walls designed with advanced architecture for the time that is still in use today. This niche was a safety niche for employees working down here to step in and get out of the way of the car so they wouldn't get hit or brushed. How fast were the cars going? Oh, in the subway, typically 30 miles an hour, maybe 40. If you stood where we're standing, for example, you'd definitely get struck by the car because the edge of the car would go out as far as the edge of the ties. So you don't have that much room. You're standing in here and the train is... Very close quarters. Right near your face. Very close quarters. The entire tunnel, about a quarter of a mile long, Directly in the center, a twisted mountain of rusted metal. How many of them It goes are back there? several hundred feet. There are thousands wow. of cans here. Canisters that were created with the aim of saving lives. In 1961, they decided to do what with this portion of the tunnel? Well, they decided to fill it with civil defense supplies as part of a fallout shelter. And these containers, what was inside of them? Well, they're 17-gallon cans. They've got crackers, powdered milk, field rations, water some medicine, enough to survive in a minimal basis for a few days. From decaying baby carriages left behind. It's probably worth a pretty penny back in the day. To worn out souls. Right? It makes oh, you wonder yeah. how many stories are buried here. Though ideas of what the future might hold for this space are plentiful, for now it remains largely unexplored, while others are plain to see. We had some amateur artists who also happen to be what they call spelunkers, subway buffs that like to roam the tunnels. Similar artwork has popped up in subway stations around the world, a creative expression, albeit breaking the law and at great personal risk. Boston's abandoned subway, a hidden reminder of what may have come before you, or in this case, what exists right under your feet. So as we're walking above on the sidewalks here, we have no idea that underneath there's this whole other world. That's right. We don't know about it unless we know about it. 
Oh, it's incredible. Nicole joins us tonight. So there's about 10 sections of abandoned subway tunnels, right? But all of those obviously sealed off from the public. They are, but the public did have a unique opportunity in May. The city opening up a section right under City Hall <laughs> for some people. For the lucky few that got the tickets, they went quickly, but they are talking about future tours. It's a good idea. People would want to see that. Up next, an entertainment palace rose and fell in Worcester. Could it rise again?